That's my tree. Down in the back. Christmas time. You want to get yourself a Christmas tree, but you don't know where to go. You don't know how to get there. You don't know what to do in terms of actually getting the tree. Well, let's hit the road and go get one. Although before we go, before we do, let's just talk price for a moment. Now, what time of the uh, month in December you get the Christmas tree is gonna have an effect on uh, what price you pay. You don't wanna overpay. Some, uh, some places are gonna charge you like, you know, 25, 30, 40, 50, 60 dollars. Eh, that's a bit steep for something, for an ornamental piece of shrubbery that's going to last for about three weeks. In terms of when to buy it, okay, December 25th is Christmas Day. You don't want to get it any more than about three weeks before Christmas. Two weeks is probably the optimal time. Um, if you've got sort of two and a half weeks, you can stretch it out a bit. Three weeks, don't really get it more than three weeks. And if you get it less than one week, then you're not really enjoying your Christmas tree. So I aim for approximately two to three weeks before Christmas. Well, I'm about to get a Christmas tree for this year, and I came to this place three years ago, and see how there's a driveway here, and there's a few trees kind of next to the driveway? Well, three years ago, I caved in the door of the car that I was driving at this very Christmas tree yard on Shans Road, Christchurch, New Zealand, because, you know, I put the Christmas tree in the car, and then I start turning and backing, the, reversing the car, didn't see the tree, and just went straight into one of these trees, totally caved in the door, and then my brother-in-law, um, Barry, had to try to pop it back out. Oh, it was a mess. It was a bloody mess. Yeah, I just went past two Christmas tree places. One of them was $40, the other one was 25 This place is 15 So, yeah, I'm getting a $15 Christmas tree this year. So deciding on a Christmas tree, you have to take in, into consideration a few things. Can't be too tall. It's got to fit inside the lounge. So you can't have like an eight foot tall behemoth. It can't be too fat. Because you've got to be able to put all your decorations around it. It can't be too wide. The base of the tree, the lower branches need to be like not, not too low because the base of the tree has got to be able to stick it in the bucket. So, hmm, haven't found quite the right tree yet. There we go, that's my tree. That one right there, it's not too fat, it's not too short, it's just right. Hey, uh, could I have this one please? Lousy Christmas tree, blocking my rear view, rear view vision. vision. Down in the back! I said down in the back! Pine needles everywhere. Let the pine needle mess begin. Right, time to go find a bucket. Get yourself your bucket, put your stones in, and you put some water and like a panadol or like a disprin. A, a painkiller helps the tree.
tree. <laughs> a Christmas tree. <laughs> I have a Christmas tree. <laughs> wow. So there you have it. Hope you enjoyed the video. How to get yourself a Christmas tree. <laughs>